Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're out here camping. Ah, good morning everyone. So we are at Corinth Recreation Area. It's in the Bankhead National Forest. This is a Alabama State Park. Got somewhat beautiful view of the lake. Slightly obstructed, but still quite pleasant out here. Very nice. We're doing some hiking and stuff like that, which I'm going to make a separate video. kind of figure maybe people want to see more of like one item versus the other. So this is just going to be like a regular vlog. Us just here camping, her cooking me some delicious breakfast, mm -hmm. and everything else we got going on. So we're going to enjoy our coffee. I'm going to show you around the campsite. It's a pretty interesting spot. Here, I want to show you. some. Actually, some pretty cool stuff all the way around here. So, we'll see you in a bit. All right, so, next to our spot, 15, is a small trail. It really is a shame the amount of deterioration that's happening. And they don't do anything about it. Because look at all this erosion here. Now what I want to show you is this park has a lot of great history to it. Like, look at this wall here, right? You got the lake overlook. But what I want to show you here is this. Constructed by the United States Youth Conservation Corps in 1978. Pretty cool. But look at all the work that went into this thing. Look at how big this wall is, right? Think about all the work that went into making this. Looks like maybe some concrete poured right there and then it just kind of falls off there into a beach that you can't even really get to. But here's the lake. Actually, if you look, the lake is actually Actually, that, yeah, that's not even supposed to be a beach. The water normally up here, you can see all along the coast there. You can see where it's uh, dirt, and that's supposed to be water, but. And this is actually kind of sad, because look, hidden underneath all this dirt are beautiful rocks. A lot of hard work put into here, and, you know, it's just. decaying it's just really sad i would like to see somebody come out here power wash this and clean it and maintain it and bring it back so um so right there's the trail that we came down see there's our motor home we came down here you can go that way which i'll show you later in a little bit some cool stuff that way right now we're going to focus this way and i'll show you another sad thing How hard would it be to take a chainsaw and cut this tree? Instead, you just put tape. I mean, there's nothing here more than a tree being down. It's friggin', you know? But look, look at all these beautiful stairs. This is just, you know, a lot of hard work. I imagine when they put these here. But yeah, I mean, this is a lot of pretty, a lot of pretty work done here. So you have a boat ramp here, you know, if you have a boat. And then the nice thing is you have a turnaround too. So if you come down here with your boat, you can just turn around, straighten up and then, you know, back down. But here's some more of this youth core stuff right here uh, so this is the swimming area now last time we were here the water was just
just above that concrete. Uh, see, this is what I'm... See how the stairs are here? And there's nothing but dirt and then stairs. So they let all this erode and they let the stairs just kind of wash away. It's, it's really sad. See, I would love to see this place 20 years ago. To see what all this rock and that look like and seeing what the full staircase looked like. But yeah, look, I mean, they, they did all this concrete work. They put stones in here. Even though most of the stuff you would never would have seen because, like I said, the water was up to here. Like, last time we were here, water was literally over these metal pipes. Not by a lot, but it was. And water was all the way up through here. So now look at how low. Look how low it is. It's crazy to think that that much water has left. So last time, yeah, I never would have walked right here because this would this was slippery. Wow. hiking then later on I'm going to show you what the uh, other side <clears throat> some pretty cool interesting history over there like a forgotten whole loop of a campground that's been closed down walking stick or praying mantis I don't know but okay so for those of you that are in the south we had this lovely insect that pops up like a, once a year called a love bug. And this is what they do. This is what they do to your vehicles. As you can see like there. See how there's two of them? That's why they're called love bugs. They fly butt to butt as they're making out. And they just fill the sky, and then you drive into them, and splat every freaking where. Oh, this is really a bad time of year to be driving when these damn things are out. So, yeah, when I get home, I'm gonna have some scrubbing to do. Good thing I got those electric power washers. I mean, I mean look at this. They damn everywhere. They in the they in the lights. Other than smearing your vehicle up, they're absolutely harmless. I mean, they don't do anything, but... I mean, they just make a mess out of damn everything. Huh. Love bugs. Definitely don't love them. See the brick stairs? Or these, like, platforms? You know, I kind of have to wonder what that was. What was, you know, why did they put this here? It's a lot of work into that. I was just curious, you know, what was there? Was it like a building? Was it an overlook? I don't know. We're about to go explore the rest of the trail that goes over here off to the right. Look at that view. Gorgeous. So look at these stairs right here that they built at one time. Um, down here's a little beach we're going to show you. So check it out. Look at this old staircase. 
And this, check it out, this was a water runoff. So they put all this work into this, like aqueduct. You see all this beautiful stonework, this concrete. You can see the what's left of like the brick wall here. It goes through here. And the water went underneath. Here, in funnel down to the lake. It's just a shame. Like I said, look, why do they let all this beauty, all this, all this, you know, just go to waste? Look what it is now. Now, granted, the last time we were here, the water was up here on these bricks. Now, like I said, the lake is so dry. Uh, here you have it. But picture at one point in time, you could sit right here. You would sit on the edge of those bricks with your feet down here into the water, and then you could walk right here, and then you'd just jump off and swim. So it's just really sad to see all this beautiful work that was done, these walls that were built just deteriorate because nobody's maintained it so this at one time was the beach here well i guess it wasn't really that much of a beach because you, you you're not supposed to see this part of it but look at this there's some type of pipe here for yeah it's like one foot three five you can tell this is where the water used to be. Yeah, I'm six foot. So there's your seven. Then those poles out there would be 15. So right now, I should be up to here in water. I have to go up here. Look at this. There's even more. I, I didn't see the last time. So look, this is obviously some way here that they were funneling water, probably to control erosion. Do you have another staircase here? You have another walkway. Yeah, that connected over there. It's really a shame. Like I said, you know how long it would take to lay all these bricks? And then you did all this work here. It's really pretty. Really pretty. And it's just... They forgot about. Look at all this wall right here. And then look, that was like obviously the grand staircase at one time. So this was probably like the main way down here. Imagine it might have been a light or something here, but look at that. Look at all this. Now look at it so overgrown with everything but there's so much work done into these walls so pretty i said look, look where's the staircase it's gone now it's like one two and there's nothing here it's really a shame oh look at that if you go up this way it's more staircase interesting use of a <laughs> like a metal conduit but look at this, this is all, all big heavy rock that was sat here for this. Look at more, more walls. It is a little treacherous walking up these things. Whew. Yeah, look, more wall right there. Look at this, it's like an old restroom. Maybe it's just a storage closet. Yeah, I don't know. But this is the old uh, forgotten about campground, or the campsites. I don't know, it's been, I would think this is a bathroom, but maybe I could be wrong. Hey, look, it's got a vent. So I think it's a bathroom. So 
So there is remnants of like a paved loop. This is the way we came up. It goes down into the lake and then this goes up this way. So I'm not, I'm not sure, maybe it was a nature trail around the campground. So where do you want to go? So I think these were probably campsites at one time. You can see there's a wall. It goes right there. I mean, look at how beautiful that would be. And then there's another like site right here. And so you have stairs. I'm thinking this is probably tent camping. Look at your view. Look at the view from here. And this is all closed down now. It's all closed down. Here we are onto the old road. This is the old road. This is the old parking area. So you would drive through here. Deep, 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 deep. And then there's your big the parking lot. And look, this is the forgotten, abandoned campground. Just wonder why. Why would they close all this? And not utilize it it's here you know so check it out all this here so yeah even on the map they gave us it does acknowledge that this was a camping loop at one time See if we can find some campsites. You believe she brought her garden with her? Yeah, you brought your cars with me. She brought her garden. But anyhow, look. Look what she did. She made some soup. Even though we have a small kitchen, she could still whip up a great meal. I know you guys enjoy the cooking and the food that she produces, so. Here you go, one of my favorite soups, little, little some gnocchis in here, some chicken, and some whatever. Lunch time. Yeah, look what I brought. I brought my toys. The sledge and the X-Max. Oh yeah, I brought the little crawler too. Check it out. It fits. It's the heart. Oh man, does that not make your mouth water? What? Look at that. Steak is what's for dinner. And look at this. Gotta stay cool when you're out here cooking. So we got the fan. And then if this makes any sense, we also have the fire going. <laughs> man, I think we need to put some wood on there. Yeah. Well, camp. Real, got the lake, the sunset, even the dog is chill. Just to serve. All right. You go, your highness. I got highness you, man. Uh, good morning, everyone. Last full day here at the campground. Beautiful morning. It's about like 72 degrees out. Really, really nice. Uh, and it's Sunday, so that means all our neighbors are packing up and leaving. Even the ones with the little yip yip dogs that have been annoying the crap out of me the past couple of days. Uh, the best time to hit a campground if you can check in on a Sunday and leave on Thursday you probably have most of the place to yourself a lot of people just come out here Friday late Friday and then they leave early Sunday because they're going back to work so they just come out for a week That's the weekends are your busiest times but the wife is inside she's trying to find a uh, waterfall or two for us to go you hear that thing 
Yeah, see, they got a fifth wheel, which is one of those. And what they do is they put a pen under the front. Let the dogs just sit outside. They bark at everything and anything. It's that high-pitched annoying. Anyhow, I don't want to complain. Let's be positive. Um, yeah, she's trying to find a couple of waterfalls after the debacle of uh, <laughs> the last one. But we did do some research, and uh, it wasn't really my fault. The mileage was way off. But um, you check it out. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm going to make that a whole different video, the hiking, because I think people might be more <laughs> likely to tune into something that's just like a hiking video maybe somebody wants to tune into just a camping video so plus it gives me the opportunity to make two videos and i have two content there's the compressor i gotta check the compressor for my uh train horns thing's been going off a lot so it must have developed a leak i'm sitting it's really nice at 2 a.m when that goes off check it out here's your uh here's your garden update from the camp Uh, he's got there. But... <sighs> nice. Tomorrow morning is going to be real nice because we ain't going to have any neighbors. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll check back in with you later. You like the socks? Hell yeah. Anyhow, let me give you a little product update. These shorts here are by Smart Wool. The outside is, I forget what it's made of, but it has like a DWR, which is basically like a water resistant finish. The inside has a built in liner, basically the underwear that are merino wool. So, merino, if you don't know, it wicks away moisture, it's very fast drying, and it resists odor. Like I've been wearing this shirt the entire time we're camping, and it smells fine. The only thing I found with the merino, two things, not as durable as cotton, so. Uh, like here caught it on something and then the only odor i find that it retains is like smoke from the fire pit but other than that it's great material but i bought these just in case if i try another run at the appalachian trail so these things are extremely lightweight like i said they repel water but it was kind of interesting with the built-in liner so i wanted to give these things a uh, try so like the day before we did almost eight mile hike and I wore these and it did fantastic I was a little leery about the uh, underwear thing being built in like how would it feel you know would it would I chafe or rub or something like that but it's done pretty good done pretty good so let's talk about camping quirks for a second here seeing how we're camping and this kind of fits um, talk about our neighbor here off to the left and this isn't the first time we've seen this we've seen this a bit camping where people will not use the restroom or facilities in their own camper I don't know what they're afraid of like uh, you seen the scene in the movie RV <laughs> Um, you know, that's not going to happen. I don't, it seems some people are so afraid of hooking up a sewer line to their RV that they will use the shower and the toilet provided in the campground. I've watched our neighbors here. And like I said, this isn't the first time we've seen this, but I've watched our neighbors here several times a day make a run over there to the bathhouse so they go from here to here because they're afraid of hooking up a sewer line i mean it's not it's just you know it's a it's a quick lock thing so it just snaps on you know you snap it on and then you plug it in there it's nothing you know you pull this valve that's your black tank that's the toilet and then you open up your gray tank which is your um basically like your sink and your shower water so you run the the toilet through there and then you open up the other one and then you run a bunch of clean water or cleaner water through the hose and it pretty much washes away any of the uh stuff from the other tank but i don't know some people just is really really afraid of 
using that hose. Wow, it doesn't make sense. To me, one of the best things, most convenient things, having a motorhome or any type of RV is it's your own bathroom. You know, so you don't have to worry about shower shoes and catching anything. You don't have to worry about if somebody peed on the toilet or the toilet's clean. Because it's your bathroom. It's your toilet. Just like being at home. Get your shower. And the nice thing is you don't have to drag all this stuff up the road to... It's kind of one of those advantages of, of going this route versus like tent camping. One of the advantages to me at least, you know. But anyhow, yeah, I just want to talk about that one little quirk. I said this isn't the first time I've seen it. I've seen this before where people just absolutely refuse to use their restroom. And I don't imagine how they wash dishes or anything because that water is going to go down there too. So maybe they use a tub to catch the water or they just <laughs> use paper plates. I don't know. Seems weird to me, but yeah. Well, a little camping quirk. Oh, man, it smells great out here. Like a nice crisp air. <sighs> Love it. Alright, check in with you later. Last night here camping. Check out the night vision on the S22. I think it's still going to be a little grainy. Hard to tell. But... Damn, man, this thing takes a nice shot. There's like no light. <laughs> No light out of here. It's a pup. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Check it out. Last breakfast of the camping trip. Dog is so excited to be leaving. She does not like riding in the RV anymore. I don't know why. She does not like riding in the RV. All right. Fortunately, it's move day. It's going to be a little busy. I always hate move day. we got to put stuff away. I'll show you a little bit of what goes into this, but I'm going to enjoy my breakfast first. What's up, honey? The advantage of a motorhome, right? Yeah. Making lunch on the go. Making a sandwich. Yeah, we don't recommend that you drive down the interstate at you know 60 and stand up and because if I have to slam on the brake she's going to become a bowling ball but this is kind of a open area of the interstate it's nice and smooth 